All right. It's another day. It's another Your Daily Scrum. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning, Todd. <laughs> Hopefully this is a, the last in our series of early morning shows. <laughs> and get back to uh, a sane schedule. I'm, yeah, hoping, yeah. I'm hoping that uh, you survived Murph and all of your other activities from the week. Yeah. Um, I'm we'll sure see. I did. I'm sure I did. Good luck, future Todd. Good luck. And hopefully I survived a bunch of roller coasters and other stuff that, uh, and my kids didn't puke on me. And <laughs> Good we'll luck, find out Ryan. on tomorrow's episode how things <laughs> yeah. went. Good luck, future Ryan. Good luck, future Todd. <laughs> uh, all right. Todd, what do we need to get started with Scrum? <clears throat> The bare minimum. What is uh, the, what would we call the bare minimum? Yeah, I think enough of a product backlog to plan a sprint and at least some kind of semblance of what your scrum team is going to look like. I I am I'm pretty uh, I I'm so from a, from my old product owner self, right? I, I I tell a lot of stories about what it was like being a product owner. I've been a scrum master too a bunch of times, but product owner these things stick out of my head is I am terrified not to be in empirical process control, right? No matter how much analysis we try to do, no matter how much we try to perfect the requirements or come up with a good game plan, um, you really don't know uh, until you're uh, until you're in it. Uh, you know the Mike Tyson quote, right? I've heard you say it a couple of times. Everybody has a plan until they get punched in the face. Yep. Right. And and so uh, I like to get into empirical process control with just enough to have a uh, to have a sprint and try to figure out we have a product owner, we have some developers, a scrum master, we're putting things together, but perfect is the enemy of good enough. What do you think of that? Love it, love it, yep. I mean, and then just get going and iterate on everything and mm -hmm. get to mm -hmm. work, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I think that that is absolutely, and, and minimally sufficient for these, right? Where, yeah. Yep, we don't have to be crazy on definition of done. The minimal, let's get it, let's get it defined. Let's roll. Minimal product backlog, just enough to get started. Developers in place, someone filling the Scrum Master accountabilities, someone fulfilling the product owner accountabilities. So, of course, product owner, we've got someone looking at value. Scrum Master, of course, we got someone looking at the effectiveness of the Scrum team. But the developers are building product and uh we're going to learn as we go and iterate as we go and lift off as soon as responsibly possible because the feedback is what drives everything. It does. Yeah. And, you know, we've, we've, we've really kind of landed on that. Um, the, uh, the feedback from both a product in the sprint review and the process in the sprint retrospective, right. Yeah. From everything, it, it drives everything. This uh, empirical cycle inspection, adaptation and transparency product and process and you evolve. Right, you evolve, and to, you know this might be another interesting uh, question that we can talk about later. Is is there ever a perfect implementation of Scrum? I'm gonna add that. What do you think about that? Maybe a, an episode in the future. Yeah, I like it. I think it'll be a quick one. It'll just be a no, and then <laughs> and then we just cue the music. Like we get the music. All right, let's wrap this <laughs> yeah. one up. And yeah, it's good yeah. seeing you. Seriously, or, or that man. might that might be a mic. It might be like, well, no. And then we get to play with the music a bit. Yeah. But it could be two minutes of DJ Ryan after that. It's such a quick show. Now, we'll think about that one. I think that's yeah. a good one to add to the list. I'm kind of being silly with the quick no, but uh, yeah, we'll think about that one. But for this one, mm -hmm. what do you need to get started? Look, don't get crazy about too much upfront stuff here. Yeah. Get a product owner, get a scrum master, get a few developers together, figure out a minimal product backlog to get us started. That thing's going to emerge and grow over time. So don't let that slow you down. Figure out what done could look like at a super high level. Go ahead and get started with the sprint. Evolve that in your sprint retrospectives. Um, but get to feedback. The whole point of Scrum is it's not to have the perfect product backlog. It's not to have the perfect sprint plan. It's not to have... The, what we're trying to do is get to feedback as soon as responsibly possible. See what our customers... See what delights them. See what makes... Uh, We'll see what makes you know value sing and just chase that over and yep. over and over again, right? Get moving, get moving, or you'll be left behind. I like it. All right. I think that's also the the minimal your daily scrum show. Yeah. So there we go. <laughs> Check out the videos below. They are recommended for you. Hopefully you get a kick out of them. Uh, we think you like them. The YouTube AI does too. Uh, like and subscribe so you know when we drop videos, we're dropping a whole bunch of new stuff. We've got a lot of people recording. 
um, some new shows, some old shows. And uh, I think you're going to see a lot of things drop in soon. So hit that like and subscribe. Check out the socials. We're pretty active on Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, and uh, not so much Instagram, not so much Facebook, but Twitter and LinkedIn are, are pretty on. They're pretty lit right now. Nothing Check on TikTok. Those out. No TikToking. We don't. We're not TikToking. Mm-mm. We won't TikTok. Uh, we promise. So, <laughs> but check out the other socials. Check out the videos below. Like and subscribe. Uh, go forward. Have a great day. Scrum on. We'll see you tomorrow.